The dynamic functions of our integumentary system are shared by all people, but we differ as individuals in either natural variations or decisions we make about our outer appearances. The integumentary system, usually thought of as a simple barrier between our bodies and the outside world, actually serves many complex functions upon a closer look. Not only does it protect us from the external environment, but it is also responsible for sensing the world, beginning the process of vitamin D production, regulating our temperature, and immunologic defense. The integumentary system is comprised of the skin, the body's largest organ, as well as accessory structures, including sudoriferous and sebaceous glands, nails, hair, and the erector pili muscles that act to strengthen and protect the rest of the body. Our skin color is determined by a combination of pigments, keratin, hemoglobin, and most importantly, melanin. Different varieties of melanin produce different color tones to produce an individual's unique presentation. Pinkish undertones of skin are often caused by the dark red hue of oxygenated hemoglobin. An orangish hue may develop in the most superficial layer of skin in individuals with diets high in certain vegetables, such as carrots and tomatoes. There are two layers of the skin, epidermis and dermis, each of which contains specialized cells and structures. The outermost epidermis, devoid of vasculature, contains both living and dead epithelial cells, with the superficial stratum corneum continually sloughing off as more cells are produced by the deep stratum basale. The epidermis houses sensory receptors, hair follicles, pigment cells, and the ducts of glands. The vascular dermis transmits neurovasculature, houses glandular tissue, and erector pili muscle. Together, the epidermis and dermis create distinctly unique ridges on distal digits, known as fingerprints, that can be used for identification purposes in the study of dermatoglyphics. With a holistic viewpoint of the integumentary system, one can understand its relation to the rest of our bodies, the world around us, and its roles in the functions and interactions of our daily lives.